Today is a special day, guys. This is what we're going to be looking at. This is a calligraphy pen, a Schaefer one. Um, this is a very beginner calligraphy pen. I'm not really familiar with calligraphy pens. Um, they look like fountain pens to me, but this is a type of pen area that I'm new to, so it's a newbie reviewing a newbie version of a calligraphy pen. Let's see if this is something I could use in my everyday use altogether. As you can see, it's kind of standard box. The ones I was seeing, they were ranging up to like $50, $60, so I may pick that up at a, um, a later date. But this actually comes with one nap pen, three nibs here, so I'm gonna get three different colors. And I can faintly see the inks that are inside here. And yeah, let's actually just open it up. Let's see how it works out. Where's my knife? There's my knife. You know, I have so many knives just all around my house that I'm going to eventually end up accidentally stabbing myself one day because of how I'm just keeping all these knives around. It's a good thing I live then by myself. I don't know about you, but I always open um, these from the bottom. I don't know, it's just a habit. I think it makes it inherently more difficult. As you can see, I'm struggling with it, but I'll get it eventually. See, there we go. See, with a little bit. A little bit of effort. Okay, papers, what do we got here? Uh, Schaefer, Pen and Art Supply Company. Ooh, I got a limited warranty on a $20 pen. If you like this, links in the description, as always. Classic calligraphy, an introductory step-by-step. -step. Oh, snap, so you know what? Maybe I can actually learn with you guys the Schaefer script. So let's actually zoom in on this. So look here, in this book, it actually is showing how to do calligraphy here. That's actually kind of neat. So you know what? Maybe this isn't going to be so bad after all. It's going to show us how to use this. An introduction to calligraphy. So let's, let's get back to these pens. So let's take this tip out here. Uh, let's see. Let's focus in on this now. Well, it's in this cheapish plastic. You can feel how cheap it is. How does it come out? Oh, just like that. Hmm. Okay, so it's just like that. Let's actually take a look at it. So looks like we're gonna get, let's pull this up. With this, we get four. One, two, three, four. Three different nubs, I guess for color's sake. So I've never actually seen how these are. Let's get closer in. So I'm gonna do my research and then get back to you in a later video in terms of the quality of nibs and stuff. There's no real designs on this. It just says B, Schaefer. Do these have letters on them? Oh, F, M, and B. Okay, we're learning stuff. Well, I'm learning stuff as I go along. They're not all the same size. This F is probably fine. If I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say fine, medium, and bold. So I was completely wrong that these are just for color taste. So, you know me, I like writing really fine. So, let's take out this fine tip here. Let's actually see if we can compare them up to each other. Okay, so I got fine and medium in my hands. So you can see by them how the fine one is a little bit thinner at the top as opposed to this medium one. I do wonder if it's going to take a bit of take a bit of time to get up with these cartridges or you just literally plug and play them. So that's something I didn't know about um, fountain pen cartridges. I'm definitely gonna do more videos on ones like this. So let's look in into here. So I guess what you do is, we're gonna start with simple black. You take this cartridge here, you just plug it in and then you push until it clicks. Well, let's, let's try it out. Let's see if there's a satisfying click as I push it in. I don't know which way to push it in, so you know what, we're gonna guess together. So we're gonna try this side in here. Okay, so I have the medium tip. I said I was gonna take the fine. Guess I was wrong. We got our book, we got our pen. So I didn't bother reading the instructions. I'm assuming I can just figure it out as I go along. Nope, nothing is writing. So I actually have to read the instructions. I'm not as smart as I think I am. One moment. Okay, more than anything, I want to stress that this is actually my first time using anything like this. So, after holding it upside down for a bit, oh, snap, look at that. Let me zoom back in. It started to flow. Let's 
gosh, what am I supposed to say? I'm all, I'm, I'm all nervous now that it's, it's starting to work. So let's see. Hello. Wow. First. This is my first calligraphy pen. So far, so good. Dude, you guys, I think I'm in love. I think I am in love with this pen. Wow, is this something I can write with every day? No. But, man, I got to do more research on these pens. It's a newbie teaching newbies about first forays into these types of pens. But, oh, just the way it actually just, like, flows onto the paper the way this flows onto the paper is amazing you guys we have something dope here we have something really dope now, can I color with this type of pen? Can I color with this type of pen? I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is let's actually try out all these colors first. Um, let's go. Let's start up with the black. So remember, let's see how this looks. Yeah. Okay, man, this is just like painting. Like, look at me go. It comes off very wet. I can see how wet it is, and you guys can too. Like, if I touch it, look at that. I'm smudging and everything. I draw a star. This is actually pretty cool, you guys. Pretty cool indeed. So I think well, the reason that most of these fountain pens, is this considered a fountain pen? I believe so. The reason why most of these fountain pens um, are ex more expensive, I guess, is because of the build quality and the hold. This pen is nothing special to look at. And my goodness, this cartridge is actually going down pretty fast. You see, if I just, let's see how much if I color in more of it. Yeah, see I can color in fine. Oh, so like I can do medium and fine at the same time. So I can never use this for the writing that I do. Uh, mainly because it's too wet and it makes it marks up a lot of the papers that I'd be using. But let me actually try writing with the thin side. How did I make it thin? Hmm. I can't. This is the thin side. Wow, my goodness. Hmm. Okay, so let's actually see some of these other colors here. I wanna give you guys a look at them. I know post. Yeah, so I go through ink. I went through quite a bit of ink here, just messing around. So this is something that has to be constantly refilled. So let's take a look at this green and this red. Now my qu biggest question is, do I have to like wipe this off? Do I have to clean it up? Or is it gonna be good? Who knows? But let's put that green in. Okay, yeah, you have to squeeze with these Schaefer pens just to get to pop some type of bubble in it. 
So with these cartridges, you got to keep them. Whoa, whoops, whoops, yikes. You see that? Me shaking, all that falling out. So I still have black in here. When are you going to turn green? And wow, something that I'm learning now, this type of ink, very, very messy. Let's go move on to a new page. Hmm. So yeah, I believe I'm going to am going to whoops half to wash it first. Okay, so look at me not knowing how to spell. I'm gonna have to do more research on what what's what's the purpose of these pens other than drawing like the maintenance. So I think we're going to get into more expensive pen reviews and then just see my everyday take on this. Is this an office pen? Absolutely not. But this is a drawing pen because as you saw in the instructions that it gave, I can do calligraphy. So if you ask, just want to follow really quickly, let's see what this A one is. So, wow. So, one, two, three, A. Ugh. One. <laughs> B. I'm not the best calligraphist, and as you can see, I put in this green cartridge. When I shake it, the ink's coming out, but so far it's still, it's still producing black. I can't believe how much ink is in there. So, no, I think I'm going to stop off for this pen right here. You know what, as, as a first pen, its build quality is just okay, because it's, it's, it's cheap plastic. This stuff is very runny, and I can't recommend it. But you guys also got to keep in mind, as I've kept saying, this is, oh, it, is it coming in? No. As, as I've been saying, this is my very first calligraphy fountain pen. I don't know much about them, but now I think I'm going to I'm gonna some purchase some more. Because this actually looks, this is cool to draw on. Just kind of make different lines and stuff. Maybe I'll become a calligraphist. Oh, I haven't done my vintage box. Then I always do. Come on, paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 paint. Yeah. Um, I'm just rambling, but this is actually pretty cool to look at, to draw on. So, good for this. Let's 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 stop off right here, um, and I'll give you an update on this pen, all these Schaefer pens, once I can get the ink to run and do its thing. That's it for now.